Hello everyone, and welcome to my last F1 2014 video ever. And we are on the grid, oh my word, what the f*** is that? What on earth is going on there? There is... I don't even know what to say about that, but we are away now. There is a very rude Marussia ahead of me there, barging in the way. But I don't even know how to describe what's coming off that car. What is that? What is that? <laughs> well, it's gone away now, so I suppose we can just put it down to aliens and focus on the Grand Prix. So on P12 as we go through the first set here, uh, cars just crashing everywhere you look. And, well, drivers missing apexes everywhere you look as well, including me. Although I have gone down the inside of two cars there. And round a caterum that was parked on the apex there. Look at the Lotus jumping about. It's just obscene what's going on in this race. I'm not sure how I'm expected to drive in these conditions, but... Well, that is what's being expected of me, because it's just horrendous at the moment. The Williams there with an absolutely suicidal dive bomb. The Ferrari driver will be cursing in the cockpit at that, and rightly so, because I don't think I've seen an overtake as poor as that since I last watched Maldonado in a race. Now, back straight here. P5 out of 16, a reasonably good Grand Prix. Oh, give me a break. That's one step too far. Let's just review the current extraterrestrial activity we've had to deal with in this race so far. So, item one, as you've just seen, on the back straight, approaching turn 12, clear aliens. Item two on the exit of turn seven. I mean, just what is that? I mean, what is that? Clear aliens. And item three, just as the race started... I mean that must be some sort of some sort of signal to the to the mothership. Clear aliens. Now with F1 2015 looming, let's hope they are the last ever pieces of alien footage we see on an F1 game. Now that's been established, we rejoin the race in sector three and have immediately been shafted from the side there. And lost a position to the Ferrari. And I've got another car around my outside, which is going to cause me a lot of issues as we go through the corner that's exactly like Turn 8 from Turkey. It's basically just a carbon copy, but it's a right-hander rather than a left-hander. And now we're on towards the final corner, and I've got it so wrong. The apex has been wildly missed, and a Mercedes has taken that position. Now then, in a time-short world such as this one, I know that there's many more entertaining things on the internet than watching me fail at Sector 1 for the hundredth time. So here's one of the more entertaining things. Some aerobic dancing. We are back now, and the more eagle-eyed of you will have noticed that I have lost a position in that little cut there. Now, I would show you me getting overtaken, however, my driving was so appalling, I'd fear for my own safety if I did. So, apart from that, it's as we were, with the Ferrari just ahead of me. Not entirely sure where the Mercedes has gone that overtook me on the start-finish straight last lap. I'm assuming he's probably, you know, gone back to the mothership or something, because everyone in this lobby appears to be an alien. But this Ferrari is the main target at the moment as we come towards the end of the second lap here. Looking to go around, he's outside into the penultimate corner, but he appears to have shut the door on that one. And I've cut the corner, which is not great. Didn't get a penalty, though, so we're all right. Not sure why I didn't get a penalty, but we'll take it. And now I'm going down the inside on the start-finish straight, and it's going to be a straight drag towards turn one here. I've got the inside line, but he has broken for some bizarre reason. And uh, that's, <laughs> that's P6, thank you very much. And it's now a Williams and a Red Bull that are the next targets. They're side by side as we go through Sector 1, which is always not a very wise idea because Sector 1's hard at the best of times, let alone when you've got another driver for company. And now I'm looking to take this Red Bull, and that was stunning round the outside. And that was not stunning at all. Because he's retaken me. I thought I had the position there. And that's just... He's just said no to that one. And immediately got back ahead. So it's still P6. I've got this Red Bull just ahead. And I've got the Ferrari, I think, just behind. And this is going to be one hell of a last half to the last lap. Because there's about four of us now all together. Oh, my word. This is going to be horrific. Right. Get yourselves together for this final sector. Because there are four of us all piling towards turn 12. And it's going to be one heck of an ugly run to the line for positions 5, 
six, seven and eight. So the Red Bull's on the outside. The Ferrari's gone for the inside line. And he appears to have come out best through that corner. But I am right on his six as we go through turn 13 now. But some car is going around my outside. It's the Lotus from nowhere. And now he's looking to take me down the inside and barges me out the way. I've now shipped the position to the Red Bull as well. And the Lotus has shipped the position to the Red Bull. The Red Bull came from nowhere. The Ferrari, as you can see ahead there, has escaped the whole situation. He's well secure in P5 with the Red Bull and the Lotus just battering each other left and right. As we go through the penultimate corner, the Lotus has fallen victim to my inside line. And now the Red Bull might fall victim to it as well. Bit of contact. My driver's furious. And the race is over there in P7. But penalties take me up to P5, which is rather nice. So thank you all ever so much for watching. That is the last ever F1 2014 race I will do because F1 2015 comes out this Friday. However, I will not be able to have any videos on it until Monday because I'm away for the weekend. So that's a massive pain in the arse, but it's the way it is. Thank you ever so much for watching and goodbye.